Hello, Chris Parker here. Today, I wanna to show you how to customize your GIMP interface. So we're gonna take those three panels that you see in GIMP right now, if you haven't customized it already, and we're gonna combine it into one, I'm gonna show you how to increase your icons for the tools, as well as I'm gonna show you how to adjust and resize individual panels, how to remove them, how to add them, and much more. So if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and jump into GIMP. So go ahead and open it up and we'll go ahead and get started. So right now, as you can see, I have three individual panels in GIMP. I have my toolbar over here on the left. I have my main window in the center right here, which is going to show our document. And then I have some additional panels over here on the right. What I wanna do is I wanna combine all three of them together so it makes it easier to work with GIMP as a whole versus working with individual panels. It's real easy to do. All we have to do is go to Windows and select Single Window Mode, and boom, we now have everything combined into one main window. So my icons over here are much larger than yours, most likely. So I'm gonna show you how to increase those in a second. First, I just wanna show you how to customize these individual panels now, because you may wanna make the panels wider or narrower, and then you may want to add or remove these individual panels as well as rearrange them based on your own personal preference. So if we wanna make our panels wider, all we have to do is come over here to these three dots and align our mouse cursor over it until we see these double arrows, and then we can click and drag to the left or to the right as needed. Now, if there are specific panels that you need to work on, you may not know what those are right now, but you can come up here to Windows, select Dockable Dialogs, and you'll see a list of all the different panels we have available to access different tools and features. And you're gonna learn more about these in future video tutorials on GIMP that I'm going to provide. Just check out the GIMP for Beginners playlist, which is listed in the description below to learn more about GIMP. And one of the things you need to learn about first before you learn anything else are layers. So here's my layers panel right here. I don't have anything inside of it right now because I don't have a document open, but you definitely wanna learn about layers before you learn anything else because layers are an integral part of working in GIMP and achieving your creative vision. All right, so let's take a look at how we can customize and remove these panels. So each one of these different panels can be accessed by clicking on the little tabs and then you'll get the tools and the features for that specific panel. If we come over here to this little icon right here, it says configure this tab. There's another one down here as well. Once you click on that, you'll have options to add additional panels just like we did in the dockable dialog under Windows. You can also close a specific tab and you can also detach the tab so it then becomes a free floating panel. So now I can place this anywhere on my interface. If I want, I can click right here to close it out. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this particular tab and drag it out as well and create another floating tab for the fonts panel. Because what I wanna show you now is how you can rearrange these panels. I can actually take this panel now and add it down here with the layers panel simply by clicking on the fonts tab right here and then dragging it over to the layers panel down here until I see that white outline around the entire panel down there at the bottom. Once I release, it will then be added to that section. If I wanna add it back up here, I can click and drag it up there as well. And if I want to rearrange, I can just click and drag it into the position that I want. And now it's in front of everything else. And of course we can arrange these as needed. All right, we can also adjust the height of this section here. So we have two sections of panels and it's divided up right here by these three dots. And we can click on this right here and drag it up or down to make one of those sections taller versus the other. 
All right, so those are some quick tips for customizing your individual panels. Now let's take a look at how we can adjust our theme as well as adjust the size of our icons. So let's go up to edit and select preferences. Now, if you're on a Mac computer, you're going to find preferences in a different location. So let's take a look real quick. So instead of under edit, we're going to go to GIMP 2.10 and then you will find preferences from there. So Windows, you're going to go to edit as well. And then Linux is going to go to edit as well to find preferences. So within preferences, we can adjust the interface from this tab right here. So we have an option to change our theme from dark, gray, light, and system. I prefer the dark theme, so that's what I have turned on right now, and I think that's what's set up as default. If not, go ahead and play around with these and choose the one that you like. We can then go to our icon theme here, and we can change the type of icon as well from the symbolic, which is what I have selected. We also have color and legacy, which is what the icons look like in older versions of GIMP. I prefer symbolic, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. And then down here at the bottom, we can adjust the size of the icon. And I think by default, guess icon size from resolution is the default. If you wanna increase the size of the icons, just click on custom icon size. And then you can choose from small, medium, large, and huge. I'm gonna go with huge because I have a hard time seeing, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. Now, one last quick tip, let's go back to our interface section right here because we can also increase the size of the undo preview size, navigation preview size, and the size of the layers and the thumbnails for the layers. So I go with large for my layers because if I go too large, then it's harder to see the rest of the layers, especially if I have dozens of layers, I have to continue scrolling through the panel to find the layer that I want if I need to make an adjustment. So for me, large works for the size of the layers themselves. So once you go through the GIMP layer tutorial, which you'll find in the description below, you can then decide which size you want. But then again, you can always come back at a later time and adjust this according to your own personal preference. All right, so that's it for my quick tips on customizing your interface. Now I've mentioned a couple times, your next step as a beginner of using GIMP, you wanna learn layers. So make sure you check out that link below in the description so that you can find out exactly what a GIMP layer is and how to use them. It's a interactive GIMP tutorial. So in other words, you're going to be participating in that tutorial in order to learn how to use GIMP layers to achieve your creative vision. So if you're ready for that, let's do it.